Elon Musk's Starship has the potential to transform the space industry completely, and according to sources, a huge private space station may be coming our way very soon. The inventor of SpaceX also stated that his groundbreaking mega rocket might reach space in a matter of months. He delivered an update on Starship, a powerful rocket that some predict may alter the space business in ways that many can't yet comprehend at a launch facility in Boca Chica, Texas. What brought about the need for a private space station, and how will Starship impact the future of space? Keep watching to find out. Human spaceflight flights were almost solely conducted by government-run space projects during the majority of the history of spaceflight. As the commercial space industry has advanced over the last few decades, this is changing. SpaceX is at the front of the pack, having demonstrated that its Crew Dragon can safely transport people to and from low Earth orbit. While SpaceX is most known for launching NASA astronauts, the business has recently begun conducting civilian crew flights without NASA's approval. SpaceX's Crew Dragon will help build a successor to the International Space Station. Described as a thriving home in space that benefits every human everywhere by one of the new space station's developers, it is being organized by Axiom Space, a Texas-based business. SpaceX is preparing to launch yet another crew of four to the International Space Station from Florida, but unlike most of the company's passenger trips, this time there will be no current NASA astronauts on board. All four crew members are civilians working for Axiom Space, a commercial aerospace corporation. Their voyage will be the first time an entirely private crew has visited the International Space Station. Civilian flights like these will only become more prevalent in the future. Axiom, which aims to build a network of commercial space stations, has scheduled three more private crew flights to the ISS, similar to AX-1, in order to prepare for the launch of its first station. As SpaceX transitions into a new phase of operation with the Crew Dragon, Axiom is taking advantage of some key timing. The ultimate goal for NASA was to transfer transportation to the International Space Station to the private sector. But a secondary goal was for SpaceX to use the capsule to perform crewed flights of its own. And that's exactly what SpaceX is doing with the Axiom missions, taking the protocols and technology it created for NASA and applying them to a new commercial venture in human spaceflight. It really is an exciting time for space enthusiasts, because not only is a private space station in the works, but there are also new developments on Starship. Starship stands just under 400 feet tall atop its massive rocket dubbed Super Heavy. This makes it taller than the Saturn V, a 363-foot-tall NASA rocket that was utilized for the Apollo lunar missions in the 1960s and 1970s and is now the world's tallest operational rocket. The Starship update will be totally reusable and capable of transporting over 100 tons to Mars and the Moon. In the Starship user guide, SpaceX notes, fully reusable Starship and Super Heavy systems are projected to allow for space based activities that have not been conceivable previously. According to the CEO, he believes there will be some future announcements that people will be really excited about. There will be a large number of new clients that wish to use Starship. I don't want to compete with them. They'll make their own public pronouncements, he said. Starting with the return to Earth, the booster was said to be capable of returning in six minutes, being replenished in 30 minutes, and being ready to launch again roughly an hour after its maiden flight. Before returning to Earth, the ship must complete at least one orbit, most likely two or three. This would give you a reuse time of six to eight hours. All of this is based on the assumption that no human maintenance is necessary in between trips. Musk also mentioned that by the end of 2022, SpaceX hopes to be producing one rocket and one ship per month. According to Morgan Stanley, the global space business might earn more than $1 trillion in revenue by 2040, up from $350 billion today. Much of this is likely to come from satellite broadband internet connectivity, which is part of the so-called space-to-earth economy in the short and medium term. 
However, according to McKinsey, investment in lunar and beyond initiatives has continuously increased. According to a January report, such projects were attracting between 10% and 15% of all private investment in space-related enterprises, or around $1 billion. This is an increase from less than 5% a decade earlier. This economic transition would be aided greatly by a rocket-like starship. So yet, there isn't anything that compares to Starship and its SpaceX forerunners. As aerospace giant Boeing struggled to address concerns with its Starliner spaceship, the company was previously awarded three extra NASA trips. Both businesses agreed to ferry NASA astronauts to the International Space Station under contracts inked with the space agency. Arian Group, a European space corporation, is likewise attempting to catch up. The MA launch system, which will be built to be reusable, is set to enter the satellite launch market in 2026. It will, however, be dwarfed by Starship in terms of scale, launching only one metric ton to low Earth orbit in reusable mode, compared to Starship's projected 100. It was dubbed Our Falcon by French finance minister Bruno Le Maire. In October, Fatih Osman, co-founder of Sierra Nevada Corp., a privately held American aerospace corporation, told the Finance Times, if you're not careful, SpaceX will be the only game in town. Some say this is a lot of hype for a rocket that has yet to make an orbital test flight. And if Musk's electric and self-driving car startup Tesla has taught us anything, it's that big initiatives take time. SpaceX plans to re-enter the atmosphere at speeds nearing Mach 25, or 19,000 miles per hour, at the end of its 164-foot Starship's first orbital test mission, followed by 15 minutes of hypersonic flight. If all goes according to plan, SpaceX's Starship spaceship will act as a giant flying Pez dispenser on some flights. Starship will be the largest and most powerful space transportation system ever created when it launches. SpaceX is developing the vehicle to transport people and cargo to the Moon and Mars, as well as conduct a range of other spaceflight duties, such as launching the next-generation version of its Starlink internet satellites. Current Starlink spacecraft are launched by SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, which is the company's workhorse. However, Starlink 2.0 satellites will be far more capable and larger weighing in at around 1.25 tons compared to roughly 660 pounds for the present Starlink ships. In a recent interview with everyday astronaut Tim Dodd, SpaceX founder Elon Musk stated that the only thing that can carry the Starlink 2 satellites is a Starship. Owing to a video deck from Musk's presentation to SpaceX employees, we already know how Starship will deploy those massive Starlink 2 satellites in Earth orbit. The two-minute video which Musk Musk shared on Twitter on June 5th shows Starlinks emerging from a narrow gap at the top of the Starship spacecraft. As one of Musk's Twitter followers pointed out, Starship looks a lot like a big, sparkly Pez dispenser in the animation, and the wealthy businessman agrees with the similarity. Musk claimed that launching a Starship rocket may cost a few million dollars in the future. Customers presently pay $62 million to launch SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. SpaceX successfully launched its first crew on the Crew Dragon in May 2020, bringing two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station after a $2.6 billion contract and more than six years of development. Michael Lopez Alegra, a retired NASA astronaut and Axiom's Vice President of Business Development, is leading the AX-1 mission. Three investors are on his crew, Larry Connor of the United States, Mark Pathy of Canada, and Etienne Stibe of Israel. In an interview with Bloomberg TV on Thursday, Axiom co-founder Kim Gafarian stated that each ticket cost around $55 million. Commercial activities, scientific research, and gourmet meals prepared by celebrity chef Jose Andres are all part of the 10-day adventure. According to Garafian, demand for the next two missions has been strong and the company has already sold out. Right now, we're attempting to sell some AX4 chairs. However, considering how it is sponsored and who is on board, AX1 is still a watershed moment for the space station. We're taking the first step toward a next generation generation platform program that will bring working, living, and research in space to a much bigger and more worldwide audience," said Commander Lopez Allegra. 
Of course, in order to attend, that audience must have $55 million to spare for a seat. So, while Axiom is making more space available to flyers, it's still a small pool to choose from. What do you think of the concept of a private space station? Comment below.